Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This is the latest build of Salient OS and this is a very particular build of Salient OS. I've tested this on the metal several times and everything is working very nicely and what it means for the future is that I will only need to generate one ISO each time I build the system. So I'm going to run through the install. And I'll show you how I do my install. Um, there is still currently a bug in Calamari where if you're using legacy BIOS and you choose the erase disk option, it will more than likely fail. It cannot reformat the disks for some reason. Um, but the team are aware of that. So I'm going to use manual partitioning because these partitions are already set up on this external drive, but I'm going to overwrite selecting boot and make sure the boot flag is on and I'm using extended two for the boot partition. I'm going to format the root and I'm going to format home as well. So this is a complete fresh disk and I'm going to tell I want the boot record on the boot partition. Okay, so the bootloader is going to go to this partition here. So let's put some details in here. I'm just going to use a very simple password because this is just a demonstration. So we're all good there by the looks of things. Let's install. Okay, so that's going off now and doing the formatting of the disk. And what I will do here is pause this and come back when it's mostly finished. Okay, so we're back and it's almost finished the install now. It's just configured the locales, now it's doing the user. They still haven't fixed this, it's actually removing packages at this point, calamari, etc. and dependencies. Now it's installing the bootloader and then we should see a U mount and that should be complete. U mount the file systems, there we go. So that's the installation done. Just quickly check our disk has the boot flag set. As I said before, there is a bug in Calamari where that isn't being set, but where I've done it manually, yeah, there we go, that's all right. Right, so I'm gonna pause this, I'm gonna reboot and come back into the fresh system, and then we'll go over the reason for this video. Okay, so we're back, and this is the fully installed system now on the metal. As we can see, we're running the 5.3.1 kernel, which is the very latest kernel. And this is the stock vanilla salient OS, no, no drivers um, other than the standard default kernel drivers or Nouveau. Um, as you can see, there's no other menu item, so there's no NVIDIA drivers installed. And this video is primarily targeting NVIDIA users. So what I've included now, there's a couple of scripts I've obtained that Antegos used to use. And they used to have a very specific NVIDIA installer. And I've now incorporated that system into Salient. And so the first step is to update the driver ID database. So we issue a 
this command sudo nvidia hyphen installer hyphen update hyphen db there you go fetching nvidia graphics card ids from nvidia.com and that has now updated the database and if you're interested that lives in var lib pci okay and we have the ids here and they're just plain text files with all the NVIDIA device IDs. Okay, um, that's a backup folder that gets generated in case it does need to make a backup. Now that's done, we need to issue NVIDIA hyphen installer as root. Now it's detected on the system that there are there's more than one suitable driver for my hardware. And I'm running the 1080 Ti. So I'm going to choose one in this instance. And now it will go off and it will download and install the driver packages and the NVIDIA settings, NVIDIA utils, everything required to get these drivers installed. It will even create the correct configuration file and it will also edit the NVIDIA settings desktop file correctly. So unpatching user share applications NVIDIA hyphen settings dot desktop and creating Etsy s 11 org.conf.d 20 nvidia.conf file. So the installation is now complete. If we have a look at that file though, we will see that it's a, a very rudimentary configuration. Very, very basic indeed. So what we're going to do, we're going to reboot and then we will correct that. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'll be back after a reboot. Okay, so we're back. Let's just minimize that a second. And as you can see, we now have the other menu and NVIDIA settings, server settings is now available. But as we previously saw, those settings are very limited in the default config that is generated. So the next thing we're gonna do is NVIDIA hyphen settings as root. Okay, so I'm just going to resize this so we can see what's going on a bit clearer. And go to advanced settings, and as you can see, we don't have forceful composition like pipeline enabled, so we're going to enable that on both monitors. I'm going to go to OpenGL settings and turn Sync TV blank off. If allow flipping is turned on, you can turn that off as well. Just as a side note, if you would like a, an FPS counter in your games or any other application you're running, if you enable the Graphics API Visual Indicator, you will get an FPS counter direct from the uh, driver's software itself. So I'm going to apply that. OK that and then we're going to save that file under etsy x11 zorg.conf.d and we're going to overwrite that nvidia conf and save that now if we open up if we go back into etsy x11 Zorg.conf.d. We'll see that there is a backup of the original, and this is the new one that has just been generated by the NVIDIA settings tool. And as you can see, full composition pipeline is enabled on both displays. If you wanted to, we can open this folder as root. And we can get rid of that backup. We don't need that one. So that's all good. 
so that's it the nvidia settings is installed correctly the drivers are installed correctly we've now set it up so we have force full composition pipeline and that is a different way and I think a better way of installing the NVIDIA drivers inside a salient OS. So just to recap, when you first have your installation done and you're in the system, you run this command. I'll, I'll leave these commands in the comment in the um, video description below anyway, in the order that you should do them in. It's also a good idea to do the uh, pack upgrade first so you have a full upgraded system then issue this. I'll put them in order anyway in the video description below. So you update the database first and then you run NVIDIA installer and after a few moments you will have a fully installed NVIDIA drivers in your salient OS. So that's it. That is the new way of installing the NVIDIA drivers on Salient OS, and that will be the preferred method from now on. Um, it does quite a lot of things under the hood, so if you do want to have a look at that, have a look at the NVIDIA installer script, and you will see what it's actually doing. Um, it does its best to try to ensure there's no conflicting packages. It will remove any conflicting packages before attempting an install. Any problems, any issues, don't hesitate to leave comments below the video or you can use the ticket system or the discussion system on my SourceForge, on Salient OS's SourceForge page. I will always endeavour to get to those as quickly as I can. And thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you very much.